Hey YouTube, I want to do one more video for you guys talking about octane ratings and why it's important. I don't remember my first video if I talked about it at all, but I wanted to kind of go in depth with it and make sure people realize the importance of an octane rating and everything else. Um, so for bikes, especially on a sport bike, as you can see, this one red lines at 13. I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but it's much higher than the car, which could stop at five on like a diesel truck, or it could stop at maybe nine or 10 for a high performance vehicle or things like that. Um, the biggest deal is it's all on the compression and how, how high that RPM is. Um, when an octane rating, especially on a, on a car, everyone thinks, oh, you get the higher octane, v, you know, because it has a better miles per gallon. Some people say, some people have proven it and said it's not true. Some people say it is true. I really don't care about miles per gallon. You're going to get, you know, if you did get maybe one more or something like that, then is it really worth it to spend the extra money to get the higher price gas, gasoline or anything else like that? It's really not. So as far as the car goes, the car is going to get whatever miles per gallon, you know, it's made by the engine and everything else. But for a sport bike, it's really important that you always get the highest octane available. And if you can't and you have to get the lowest, that you baby your um, 1,000 until you get higher octane in there. And the reason why is because um, octane is a rating of when the gasoline will ignite under compression without the use of a spark or anything else. And the reason why this is such a big deal is if you're in the higher PMs and you've got a low octane like 87 and you are, you know, revving the bike to the max, you've got the engine heated up and it has a lot of compression in there. What can happen is because of the compression, the heat or whatnot, the uh, gasoline will actually ignite before the spark plug sets it off, which means that the piston is not in the correct area it needs to be to, you know, before, and that's where that, that spark comes from, that spark plug, because the piston is in the right area. So because that piston is not in the right area, you are going against the motion so if it ignites before it's supposed to then you're slamming that piston down and moving the rods and everything else where they're not supposed to be which is how you can you know snap a piston snap a rod things like that and that's why it's so important to have a higher octane rating is because it's not for miles per gallon or anything else it's for pre-detonation something you don't want to ever happen on a sport bike especially when you're on a motorcycle because you know that's it if you have something wrong and you shoot a rod through the tank and it hits you or anything else i mean that could be death or whatnot plus all of a sudden your engine goes shit and then your back wheel is locked up now you're getting thrown off the bike for something stupid just because you could have put a higher octane rating in there and you guys should never bitch about prices of gas or anything else on a motorcycle anyways because we get better miles to the gallon regardless. Plus, we have to take much better care of these because these are, you know, we're riding on top of them. There's no protection like an airbag or anything. So that's really the biggest reason on why I always stress Octane to the rest of my friends because some of them were getting lower grade and things like that. It's not that your bike won't run on it. It's just not safe if, you know, you want to open it up and, you know, really have a good time on it. So you guys got to pay attention to that stuff. So... Hope you guys enjoyed it. Again, any questions, just let me know, and I'll talk to you guys later.